Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 56 of Enigmatica 6 Expert. As you can see here, I have the Alchemy uh, Mastery Shards done. They finished up between episodes, there wasn't too much complicated there. Uh, oop, let me just chuck them in here and we should get the Mastery Token out of it. Um, yeah. So, what have I been doing between episodes? Quite a lot, actually, um, as usual. I have uh, set up a bunch of recipes, and I think we're pretty much ready for a couple of different um, sh uh, tokens. There we go. So, we can put you in there, and let's grab our quest reward. Yes. Okay, I'll go put that over at the uh, tree when I get a chance, but for now we'll just leave it there. Um, so yeah, between episodes, what have I been doing? First of all, um, we are getting very, very close here. We have 129. I had to uh, wait a bit and fill this up first because we're going to need um, some antimatter for some of the tokens coming up. The other thing we've needed is um, these uh, spawner cores. Uh, with Enderman in it. So I've had that machine running uh, pretty much constantly for the last day. We've got 166 so far. I don't think it's quite enough. Um, but one problem I was having is the Enderman was, were like teleporting everywhere. Let's just get rid of these guys. They're not useful. Yeah. Um, uh, so they were teleporting all over the base. Actually, you can probably still see... Uh, there's a whole bunch of them still around. They're kind of hard to find. There's like some there, there, a bunch over there. I don't know if they're Endermen, but there's like, they're everywhere. And there's actually quite a few out here as well. Um, they tend to, to teleport everywhere. So I ended up putting this um, Vinculotus, which stops them from teleporting away. If they try to teleport away, this thing forces them back here. And it uses a little bit of mana, not too much. I just have this pool. Uh, which I filled manually and it doesn't seem to have used very much at all. So that's good But that should stop them uh, just ending up randomly all over the place uh, Actually, I also found them. There's a whole bunch of them inside here. I don't know how that's even possible <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of them in here um, I don't know if if I go in there. Am I gonna die? I'm kind of worried if I just like I could just teleport in there with this thing and kill them Oops, but I don't want to die you know what? I'm going to try it. Hey, I'm inside it. <laughs> Just clear them out because uh, the lag is getting pretty bad already and having all these guys around is probably not helping. Okay, so our next shards, um, we have a few that I wanted to work on. Uh, actually, let me get rid of the alchemy one since we don't need it clogging up the system this will this will the system will just keep our I'll just chuck these away there's no point keeping them um, yeah so these are the ones that we have left to do the astronomy one we can't quite do yet because of uh, reasons that I'll get to in a minute um, the battle mastery shard this one needs quite a lot of work still um, there's a whole bunch of these things that we need to fill out and we also need a bunch more of this and this and there's a bunch of stuff we need to do uh, the botanical one needs some, just, I think this is not too difficult. Then some recipes to set up. Um, we're going to need some masticator scales and uh, actually more than that, because I think some of these flowers need it as well. Um, but that's not too bad. I think the energistics one, I think we're ready to do almost. Yeah. We just need the flux controller and the rotational complex and also a couple of more Gaia spirits, but these ones are not too difficult. They just need, um, they're just big recipes. Like if I look at the flux controller, it's just, uh, I just got to do it on one of these things. That's not too difficult. I can make all of this stuff, I think. Yeah. And what else do we have? So that's the energy. Oh, I didn't do dimensional, did I? Uh, this one needs a couple of things, not too much. This is the one that needed all the spawn, of course. So we need a little bit more time to get those going. And then I think these things, so that's easy, that's easy. Uh, we need more dielectric paste, more nether stars. So I think it's mostly pretty easy. Um, the energistics one, oh yeah, we just did that one. 
The engineering one is the one that needs the um, those uh, pellets. So in order to make the unbreakable electrodes. And what else have we got? Excavation. And I think this one had a bit of work left too as well. Yeah. So we need some, uh, that's easy. Uh, we need some of these guys. Uh, that's pretty easy. Oh, the jeweled apples. I actually set up uh, a little thingy over here to make jeweled apples. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. So we have lots of molten diamond and actually let me get some more apples. I don't think I need this many at all. Um, but while we have the diamonds, why not? <laughs> so this is just very simple. We just have, uh, the pipe that putting them into there. And then we have this timer, which, uh, ticks that every now and then to fill it up. And then once it's full, it goes into this barrel here. So I think we have more than we need. Um, I can actually eat this. Okay. Very good. Uh, there we go. So that's that. And yeah, so, and that's it, right? I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. So um, yeah, we're pretty close, I would say, on a few of them. Um, so this one I mentioned we can't do quite yet because we need more uh, Mantle of the Stars. No, not Mantle of the Stars, uh, Observatories. Yeah, so I've made 30 so far and um, I can show you over here where that's set up right here so this is a very you know uh same as what i did over there we have each of these has a, a filter on it which tells you which um, item goes into that block and this is very tedious to set up but not that difficult the hardest part actually was if you look at the recipe um <clears throat> hang on observatory so it's like this way in the ui but then i have to do it back to front because i'm putting them in the back Anyway, that was, that was the hardest part, <laughs> but yeah, this is working now. And then I just have here, um, this, re this recipe, which has all of the ingredients in it. So, um, it just puts it into the barrel and then they all go there and then it ends up going down into this hopper, which puts it into the system. So it's all automated. Um, but I can't make it quite yet. Where is it? It's up there somewhere. There it is because we need to make lots more um, observatory lenses. And these things take uh, all of this, actually all of that, and an attuned celestial crystal, which is, I don't have enough of them. So I used to have a bunch of them in here, but they all got used up. I actually need quite a lot of these observatory lenses. Um, like if you look down here, it's in the process of making them. I need 79 more. Uh, which means I need 79 attuned crystals and actually attuning them is pretty easy. I have this set up here to attune them to Dissidia, which is uh, a common, uh, it's in the sky most nights. Um, and then I have this set up over here, which is where I've been, um, making the crystals, but as you can see, it's quite slow. So I've been trying to just like augment it by building a few of them up here as well. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Basically, uh, what I do is I just fill these up here like this. And then I put the rock crystal in. Rock crystal and stardust. Rock crystal and stardust. And I do that for all of them. And over there too. And this one over there. And this one. And then this one, and then I take my, uh, time in a bottle and each one, I just like, uh, 256 it and it doesn't take too long to make once you 256 it. Like so, and there, and oh, that one didn't work. And there and there. And you can see, yeah, this one has already got uh, the sparkly bit, so it's done. And um, yeah, making it 256 times. Yeah, there we go, that one's done. And uh, yeah, this is how I've been doing it. And it's quite quick, it's not too tedious. Uh, there we go. And oh, yeah, I just gotta wait for this one now. Okay, there we go, that one's done. So I grab them all. 
And there we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six done. Wait, I didn't seem to get them all. I think maybe they weren't all grown. I don't know. Anyway, once I've done that, I then take them over to here. And then this thing will um, attune them to Dissidia. And that's how I've been doing it. So I need to do 80 uh, more and then we have, we'll have enough. So yeah, there we go. It's sending it over there. I guess Dissidia is not in the sky tonight. So that's okay. This thing handles that just fine. And um, let me put these over here. And then you can see how this thing works. So this thing, I put them in there and then um, it just puts one into here, there, and then it'll start working. And then once we've made two, that will be enough. Uh, two more, I guess, that will be enough. Oh no, three more, I forget. I think it needs four lenses per one of these. Okay, there we go. That's pretty cool. I like the. It looks really cool. Um, and then it'll go in the hopper, and then it'll go in the system, and that's another one crafted up. So now we just need to get a bunch more rock crystals, uh, and then we're good to go. So I'll do that. And the other thing I think we will do is uh, the energistics one. Uh, this one. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. All we need is the flux controller, the rotational complex, and a few more Gaia spirits. So the way I've been doing, ah, yeah, see, it's the Enderman. The way I've been, oh, no, okay. Come here, bed. There we go. Um, yeah, I found some of these guys, some, uh, uh, I got one of those lightning strikes on a zombie skeleton. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. They're not useful for anything. Um, yeah, so I have been using this occasionally to get more Gaia spirits. It, whoops, it needs a, ha, a ton, an absolute ton of memory uh, essence, which we have quite a lot now. We have uh, 819,000 buckets, but this thing needs so much. It's really crazy. So I, I flick that lever off and that um, turns this thing back on. And this will, uh, once that gets back up to 10, bar it'll uh this thing will turn back on and we'll get some more gaia spirits and actually the other thing i had to do is every now and then i just break and replace these because uh if this is full of mana it won't um it won't make any any more gaia spirits either but i don't actually want to use this for mana so uh it's not really useful at the moment i just leave it let it like recreate the mana like that. The main thing I want it for is the Gaia Spirits. So yeah, we're almost at 10 bars. And once we're at 10, like so, we should see this thing start to work. Okay, it's going slow because this is still not quite, uh, it's still at 10 bars, but that's fine. And as you can see here as well, this thing is like noticeably going down. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. It's uh, so much memory essence needed. So I only turn this on, um, you know, just to get enough Gaia spirits that I need. I'm not going to turn this on forever. Okay, so I think eight is enough for the moment. Let me just turn it back off and head back home. So I think that's enough, right? Yeah, we just need the flux controller and the rotational complex. So I have the recipes here. One, two, three, four, five. And also five. All right, so I'm just going to do these over here. I've made three, no, two rotational complexes so far. This will be the third one. Um, but I feel like, oh, I have a recipe here. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. I don't remember setting this up, but obviously I did. <laughs> um, I guess I needed this for the, the um, one of them. It's not the Energistics one, is it? Ah, uh, no, it was the Automation one. I needed 50 uh, controllers. Okay, I, I seriously, I don't even remember setting that up now. Um, but anyway, I'm going to make the the, con the two controllers that we do need for now. We only need two, one of these and one of these. So this one should be pretty straightforward to make. Um, so let me do both of those. All right, we need those for the player transmitter. We need a, a nitro one, so I'm going to make two. 
one just for myself to replace this blazing one that we have and one for the recipe and then i think the last thing we need here is the node oh still not ready why isn't it ready yet uh oh it's the yeah this thing takes a while because i think uh one of these things needs to get up to temperature i forget okay there we go that's done and uh, I have almost everything ready here. I just need the player transmitter and also the ultimate control circuit, which is a bit of a craft as well. But those are both going. So let me grab, oh, it was too quick. Um, so that should be fine actually. Uh, let's go for the mastery token. Uh, which one was it, this one? Yeah, so now this is the only thing we need. I think let's hope there's no liquids we're missing yep very good okay so let's wait for the player transmitter oh and i guess this too um yeah this shouldn't take too long we just need to make a few more of these guys okay very good okay there's the player transmitters done so the actually the other thing i was going to do uh was i have these guys too oh it's uh trying to charge them up let me grab you and put you down and plop you in. And we should now have very fast uh, charging. So now we should have everything we need for this guy. So you go there and then you, 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 three, two, one. All right, let me get the rest of them in. And there, all right. and that should be that then we should be able to make the energistics there we go all right so let's see energistics this one it makes 50 so you only have to do the one craft which is great and yeah we're going to need a whole bunch of stuff so it's going to take a while as typical but uh Let's leave that one going. And then I think as well, we should be able to have this finished soon. I have to, oops, not that, that, wait, let me up there. Yeah, so I have to make a, a about, oh, about 60, 70 more um, of these guys and attune them. And uh, then we should be able to make that one as well. So then we're gonna have three done this episode. That's great. Although technically, I guess we did the alchemy one mostly last episode. Um, oh, the other thing too was um, I did make four of these energy units. Do they go in? Yeah, they go in everything. So let me install all of these. Oh, you can stack them. Oh, I didn't know you could stack them. That's great. Let me get uh, make some more then. How many can you stack them up? Up to eight. Uh, yeah, these is these are needed for the uh, you know that mecha the battle uh, suit. But yeah, when whenever I go to like a tomb or whatever, the energy runs out quite quickly. Um, but now we should get it, it should replenish quite quickly because we have this guy is uh, our fast charger, and if we go to like uh, here for example. You can see as we fly around, oh, it's using hardly anything actually. Um, but if we get hurt, for example, oh wow, <laughs> there's so many arrows used up here. Come after me. Yeah, you can see I'm losing power already as uh, these guys are t taking damage. But the more energy upgrades I have, the less that's going to happen. Uh, we actually don't need any more relic or do we? But I'll just leave it go. And then once I come back here, you can see it charges up quite quickly again. And we're back to full. But anyway, let me uh, let this this finish and this finish. And uh, once this one's finished, I'll also craft up these ones, the, uh, the Astronomy Master Shards. Um, so yeah, once we are back, we should have both this one and this one done. 
Yes, there we go. Two more. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's put these over here. So this is the uh, the astronomy one and the energistics one. They both are finished now. Um, a couple of things came up. So the astronomy one was pretty straightforward. The energistics one, for some reason, so I can take these out now. Uh, for some reason, you can see here, like, there's not enough of some of the ingredients, like structural glass, only 86. But if you look here, we needed uh, 598 of them. So um, even after it had ma uh, automatically crafted stuff, I had to go and manually add a bunch of extra things in there. But uh, it was pretty straightforward other than that. And uh, yeah, everything went fairly smoothly. So one thing, um, hang on, let me get these two guys out one and the other one should be coming out too there it is all right two quests for those two that's very good so you and you uh yeah so um i'll put these out over the here by the tree with the others get out of here there and there all right looking good um, yeah, so a couple of uh, other things that I've been working on. So down here with our guard shards, we need a whole lot more Osiris guard shards. So I've been working on that. We have so much Nebu now, 55,000 ingots. It's crazy. And uh, this is going quite a long way too. So um, hopefully we should have enough Osiris guard shards for the next master tokens that we need. I forget which one it was. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. So we only need 89 more, not too bad. Um, the other thing is for uh, this one, I set up the recipe for the, the ultimate, um, the infinite uh, graphite thingy, but we needed zombie hearts. So we still need 10 more of these guys. That's not gonna take too long, I hope, but we needed zombie hearts. And the way that I've, the way I've been planning to get those is via this thing here uh well not by that thing by this thing in here this uh the there's a a brutish zombie in here which um that's the the brutish zombie so yeah he outputs uh, brutish zombie honeycomb which gives you a five percent chance not very high chance of getting zombie hearts and as far as i can tell that's the only way other than killing brutish zombies so that's what I've done. Um, the thing with this guy is he's normally aggressive or angry or whatever you call it. I don't know. Um, but when they're aggressive, they don't uh, pollinate flowers. So in order to make him pollinate flowers, I've had to um, install this ender beacon. Ender beacon, I should say. Um, and then you give it uh, calming. And I also gave it regeneration because I noticed sometimes he would come out of the thing and he would take damage i think he spawns like slightly inside the block or something so i gave him regeneration and calming um, and this uses honey to have its effect but we have so much honey um, and this is actually we're getting more honey than what it's using so i think it's okay to leave this going forever um, and yeah he's the only one that i have the, the the effects on i could increase the range and give them all like regeneration which would stop the the dusty guy from dying all the time but there he is he died again um whoops he keeps dying and i keep having to where'd it go oh it probably went back in here it probably got picked up by that thing over there it'll be back in a second there it is yeah he keeps dying for some annoying reason and i keep just like recreating him and putting him back in there so i guess i could um increase the range of that beacon beacon actually maybe i could do that i wonder how much more it uses if i increase it to 15 16 i wish you could see the range it doesn't have any uh this is just you can turn on the noises and the the visual effects but i turned it off one two three four seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i guess that should be enough and now it's using four millibuckets, no, three millibuckets per tick. 
Okay, so let's uh, see if that keeps him alive. All right, but the other ones that we need to make, so the excavation one needs a few things that we don't quite have yet. So the Osiris God charts I went through. This one and this one are big crafts. We need to make um, a crafting, uh, another setup over there, similar to how we did for the observatory. In fact, maybe I could take the observatory one down now because we don't need it anymore. Um, and the other thing we needed was a whole bunch of coal coke and um, iron. So I've increased my uh, B storage size. So we'll be able to get a bunch more iron. That's fine. And the coal coke, I actually noticed that we were out of refined fuel for some reason. I think what happened was I put some um, vortex. Uh, what are those things called? Vortex. Uh, yeah, what are they called? Vortex. Yeah, these things. Vortex tubes. And it was using up um, all of the, the refined fuel. So I think we were just running out. So I've taken those off. And we're slowly building up again. So I think that's probably okay. It may have also been this thing. Um, I'd been running this constantly trying to get more uh, Enderman spawner cores. But now that we're at, uh, not spore, <laughs> core. Now that we've got the 256, this is all shut off. So or maybe that's also helped as well. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, our fuel is coming back slowly, but uh, Hopefully it comes back. I'm, I don't want to have to make more of these because they're kind of annoying to make. And this is already as fast as it can go. Um, but yeah, I've increased the storage space here. So hopefully we'll get enough coal coke over time. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long either. We might have to do something to speed that up. Um, what's another way to get coal coke? I'm pretty sure there are ways to get faster coal coke. Uh... Maybe not. Maybe we will have to make a whole bunch of them. I'll have to have a look into this. Maybe we'll need to, to build like a whole bunch of these guys. Um, but that, that'll be something I can do off camera. That's fine as well. Um, the next one that we need to do is the engineering one. So this one we already had a look at as well. This one just needs one more uh, uh, zombie heart set. We get nine from each block now, so that's fine. And 10 more of these, that should be easy enough. Uh, the dimensional one, what do we need here? Uh, books, easy. Bottle darkness, easy. Strange sand, easy. Endearing plate, easy, easy. 409k storage block. What do we need to do for that? 4096k fluid storage block. Okay, that's easy. And we could get 30 in one go, I guess, but uh, that's probably not that much. Okay, so we could set up recipes for that. And uh, what was the other thing we needed? Uh, that should be easy and, well, that's a big fluid storage block. Okay, so I guess that's just a whole bunch of these. Uh, 262 something, something, something. Fluid storage block. Fluid storage part, fluid storage block. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I think it's just uh, the this craziness. 65K, 65,000, thousand. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Okay, so that'll be a bunch of crafting, but we could set that up. The botanical one, I think is pretty easy too. We need to set up recipes for all these things. I need another 10,000 or so dimensional shards, mana collectors, Okay. Oh, some soul shards. We can set up more of those. Uh, and the battle one, this one also needs a whole bunch of crafts ready to go. Oh, this one also needs a lot of Osiris. Oh, so actually, maybe I'll have to do something about that because I don't think we're going to get a thousand. Um, this is probably because we need lots of ultimate uh, induction something or others. Yeah, so this is uh, because it needs 3,000 um, spirited crystals. So is there, uh, and also 10,000 niotic crystals. Wow. Uh, that's a, a lot of those guys. So um, the spirited crystals, we can also make in that thingy over there. Uh, the anti-protonic nucleosynthesizer with Osiris God for forged block. So it's four to 16 
which is still quite a lot actually. Hmm. And uh, niotic crystals as well. We can also make those, um, but I think they need something. They need a tuned, or no, just regular. Yeah, celestial crystals. So we're gonna need. Whew, quite a lot of those. Uh, we would need like 10 stacks of uh, celestial crystals plus uh, like, I guess maybe 1200 buckets. I mean, 1200 milli buckets. So that's not too bad of the antimatter. Uh, but that's a lot of celestial crystals to make. Uh, and otherwise, we have to do it using. Uh, I guess we could actually make use of this mana here because I haven't really been making use of it. I could use this to make the, um, those thingies. What are they called? Uh, yeah, we need to use, yeah, we need to make resonating gems and it uses like half a mana pool. That's a lot. It uses a lot of mana to make this. So maybe we could do that with these mana pools. Um, and like, actually, because I think we also need lots of uh, Gaia. Oh, we've got a bunch of Gaia spirits. I think this has been on um, and running for a while. I turned it off now. That This could also have been why we were losing um, refined fuel. Uh, is it actually, are they on? They should not be on, right? That's turning it off. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> And I guess uh, after we make all these things, we probably won't need a whole lot of this mana essence, uh, memory essence either. So maybe that's an okay thing to do. Okay, but we need, we're gonna definitely need a lot more of these Osiris card shards. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, what we have for all of these now will be it. I don't think we need um, any more of them, or at least we don't need that much more of them. So I'm going to make sure they all go, uh, uh, all of the non Osiris ones go in here when they come out so that we only make Osiris ones. And then I'm gonna, yeah, let me set this up. Okay, so I have an exporter here exporting all of our Nebu. And since we have uh, 45,000 of it, and I think there's still more coming, um, we should get uh, basically as much Nebu as we possibly could need. I've also set it up so that every single God Shard, except for Osiris, goes back into the Crafter to be returned back into um, God Forged Blocks. So this way we should get uh, a huge amount of Osiris God Shards. I think that's um, the way to go. So let me have a look how much, how are we going with the Nebu production? I think we still have a bunch left, right? Uh, oh yeah, we still have 7,000 here, so 7,000 times 5 um, to go. Um, so that should be plenty for the rest of uh, our needs, I hope. And uh, yeah, but I think that's all we have time for right now. I'm going to have to prepare a lot of stuff for the next episode, but hopefully we can get through a couple more of the Master Shards. Mastery Shards, I should say. Um, and yeah, I think we're getting closer and closer, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye